it's Sarah here from So Sarah Style. Welcome back. It's half term week, which means I have three boys at home and the builders. We're having some work done downstairs. So I have escaped up to my sewing space up in the loft just to have a chat with you about what I have been. Well, more like what I haven't been sewing, um, but just some thoughts and ideas that I've um, that I've come up with this week. Um, so first of all, I'll talk about what I am wearing. This is something I have managed to finish this week. It's the... Um, the McCall's M8240, which I have promised not to talk about anymore, but uh, here it is. It's finished. It's in a khaki ponty, which is really comfortable, easy. I absolutely love it. Um, and as promised, I won't talk about it too much anymore, although I do have plan for one more, which is to have maybe a dark navy or something like that um, with a white placket, maybe a white cotton placket or something, just like a rugby style top. Um, but um, yeah, that's definitely something for the future. I think really, as I said, it's probably time for me to move on from that pattern now, to be honest. Um, behind me here, my friend is wearing the Simplicity 8790, which is a Soha 7 pattern. And um, I absolutely love this. It's supposed to be a tunic or a top, really. But the, um, the fantastic That's So Terry Fox from Instagram, she's also on Facebook, came up with a hack to make it into a dress length and put elastic around the bottom. So I followed along with, I think it was a Facebook Live that she was doing for that. Um, but she's, as I say, she's on Instagram, check her out um, and made it into um, this dress. The um, the pattern itself is really clever. I was, when I got it out to put it on, on the model, I'd forgotten actually how I'd put it together. It, there's a kangaroo pocket just here. And I was thinking, wow, I've done an amazing job of of um, matching, of pattern matching the front. But actually, I haven't. The seam line's here, but the, the pocket isn't put on the front. So this is just one piece of fabric. The pocket, cleverly, is actually put underneath, so from the back. Um, and so there's a patch sewn underneath. And then you sew um, these sort of curved pockets at the side here, as you can see. You get your hands in there. Um, so it doesn't disturb any pattern down the front at all. The hood's gorgeous, lovely cosy hood, and it's a raglan sleeve top, um, which I always really like. Um, I just like the shape of raglans and they're easy to sew. So that's just a really lovely winter snuggly dress. So with it being half term, um, we've had a busy week, as I say. It's been my son's birthday. So for uh, last weekend, we went to Cambridge for the weekend um, to take the boys to the Imperial War Museum, Duxford, which is um, it's an airfield. And um, it's also, I think, Europe's largest um aeroplane museum which it's absolutely fascinating I have to say the boys loved it um, they've got all the stuff from the the world wars they've got American aeroplanes they've got loads like six hangars full of aeroplanes so that was a really really fantastic day out for anybody who loves planes I would highly recommend that and Cambridge itself was absolutely beautiful we stayed in Cambridge overnight so the first day we spent going round Cambridge looking at the architecture and the colleges oh it's absolutely stunning um while we were there obviously we um we popped into had a look quick look around the shops as well and we popped into John Lewis um I wasn't literally I promise I wasn't planning on buying any fabric at all but I talked last week about making the fiber mood harper top in a white cotton poplin um I don't actually have a white cotton poplin but my plan was to make that um and to use the Instagram live sew along so as predicted I was disturbed where were we <laughs> I think I was talking about the harper um top by fiber mood and the sew along that um Kate at time to sew is going to be doing on Instagram uh, just check out the hashtag, the Harper Top. It's really, really good. I used um, her sew along for the when I made the Fibre Mood Fricker. She explains the steps really well. Um, and as she's doing it live on uh, the 2nd of March, as I say, I think I'm going to join in, make an event of it. It's even if you can't make it for that date, it stays on Instagram. So if you just search it up on the Harper Top um, um, hashtag, you will find the sew along. Um, I'm really looking forward to that. Um, when I spoke about it last time, I talked about wanting to make it in a white cotton poplin just to make it a little bit architectural. I didn't actually have any cotton poplin, 
Um, but when we were in Cambridge and popped into John Lewis, um, it just so happened that they had a 50 to 70 percent off sale in the linen department. It's always worth having a look at the duvet covers. And um, I found this beautiful cotton dobby with a lovely ladder stitch on there. I'm not sure whether I'd be able to use the ladder stitch within this top. I might do. I don't know. I'll certainly use it for something else, if not this. So the cotton dobby's got the little raised dots on it and this particular duvet cover. Um, it's plain on the back so that gives me the option really of maybe making the bottom half plain and then the top the pleated top half in the dobby or the other way around I don't know I'll, I'll make a decision on that I think when I'm when I'm cutting it out but um, just to say that this duvet cover it's it's a single um, cover but it's two meters long 135 centimeters wide so it's um with the front and the back that's four meters of fabric and it was 12 pounds so really it's always worth having a look so while i was in the linen department another piece caught my eye another duvet caught my eye and it is this one here it's based on british um, wildflowers obviously it's a watercolor print and I just absolutely adore all the colours in this, the muted greens and greys, lilacs um, and sort of like a peachy pink colour. Um, not really sure at the moment what I want to make. Well, I wasn't sure at all what I wanted to make with it, but um, I knew that I needed to bring it home with me. It was £16 for, again, you've got two metres of fabric. It's white, it's white on the back, um, but the front, you've still got two metres of beautiful printed fabric. The um, this then when I got home, um, obviously it is one of my colours. I didn't realise quite how much, but I'd shown you the um, the Bengaline uh, that I bought the other week, which was to make twirls for some trousers with. Um, and if I just put these with it, you will see just how perfectly um, the prints go with the trousers. That's the mocker, and then this one is the slate slate colour um, both of which go really well with this top um, but it's kind of made me think all week about whether or not just because something goes whether I would still wear it together this I'm not really very good with florals generally I know this is a, a quite an abstract floral um, but whether I'd wear a top in this with the trousers in those bengaline i don't know i think there is only one way to find out and that's just to give it a go i was going to make um the trousers i'd shown some a style arc some style arc patterns that i quite liked um that they make you can make from bengaline um but i've actually been looking at some other patterns this week um obviously i've not been sewing but i've been one of those classics the, that classic saying isn't it i may be it may look like I'm listening to you, but in my head, I'm sewing. <laughs> I've been thinking about sewing all week, even though I haven't been doing it, um, and looking at patterns and ideas. To me, that's actually probably one of my most enjoyable parts of sewing, is looking at fabrics and patterns and just pairing them together. So sometimes I will do that, then I'll decide what I'm gonna make, and then I don't have time to make it. But I've just enjoyed the whole process of putting things together. Um, so what I've been thinking about for this one is because for me, this is quite, as I say, it's quite a tricky print. I don't actually know whether I would wear it um, unless I find a pattern that I really, really like that's maybe a bit modern or a bit different. Um, with to, to that end, I have found um, a pattern on the Sewing Revival website. I love the Sewing Revival pattern, patterns. They're just a little bit different. Um, this one's called the Heron shirt and top. I love the fact that it's got a high neck. You've got different sleeve options with it. And I really wanted a high-low hem. So I've, I'm kind of into the idea of um, leggings or tighter trousers with shirts so I want to make a few of those sets and I think this one might just work with as I say with the high neck and I would probably keep the sleeves plain because I think with the flowers the flancy sleeves might be just a little bit of overkill for me I might not yeah I not, might not enjoy wearing that and then make a pair of fitted trousers to go 
with it. Will I wear it? I don't know. But these are twelve trousers anyway, so I've kind of got nothing to lose really. Make some up in this. Um, make uh, possibly a heron shirt in um, in this, and just see if I would actually wear it together. Um, I've, as I say, I've I've got nothing to lose either because with the heron shirt, with it being a soft, lovely, organic cotton. Um, I could always use it as a fancy night shirt, so I could, it would be slight Victorian, kind of Victorian pirate type night shirt. And actually the Sewing Revival have um, a pair of what they call the pillowcase pyjamas on their website. It's a free pattern and I could always make some pyjama shorts to go with the top and have a very fancy nightwear set. So that's what I'm thinking about for those two at the minute. But while I was on the Sewing Revival website, I found... Um, some trousers called the I think it's called Pakeko 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 trousers. Um, I had to look that up actually. The Pakeko is uh, just for your information is a native New Zealand bird, and um, the boys had to laugh when they came in to me listening to um, on YouTube how to pronounce Pakeko. Uh, listening to the call of the bird as well. It's like every day is a school day, so it's uh, it's a Pakeko. I think it's Pakeko. I hope, hope I'm getting that one right. Um, so the Pakeko trousers just look very, very simple, a really wide waistband, really simple trousers. So I'm definitely going to be trying a pair of those out, just pull on um, just to see how, how those fit and those work. So that's the idea for that. I have made a uh, sewing revival pattern before. It's the Skullduggery top and dress, which I, I love. It's just a really easy throw on. I always say that about stuff, don't I? But I have got a thing about easy dressing um i don't want too much fuss with anything this is a t-shirt dress and you can use two different fabrics for it so um i've tended to use a, a stretch fabric at the front and um, a woven at the back with some knit ribbing it's brilliant for stash busting or whatever but just it just makes a really interesting dress and the shape is beautiful you don't feel like you need to belt it it's just a really nice shape so i'm looking forward to having a go at making another couple of um, sewing revival pattern so watch this space it could as I always say go one of two ways it, I, I don't know I don't know whether I will like this um, the other thing actually the other thing I have for this is um, I do love watching the fashion shows and again I love Isabel Maron in her spring summer 23 collection she's got some cargo pants which are it's actually um, it's like a camo print really but it's a similar colour to this and I think a pair of baggy camo pants in this would be absolutely gorgeous. Um, but again, whether I would wear them or feel like I'm going out in pyjamas, who knows? I don't know. I'm just still thinking about this. Really, I would appreciate any ideas that you've got for what I could make out of this or what you think about my ideas for a heron shirt or cargo pants. And whether you think this would actually work with a matching pair of trousers or would look a bit mm, trying too hard. I don't know. <laughs> As I say, there's only one way to find out. So yeah, any thoughts, ideas, much appreciated. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so the other one, there was three. I did buy um, another fabric, which is down here, which I will share with you because I just absolutely love it. I'm not gonna be making this up soon. I'm just going to be admiring it for a little bit longer. It's... Um, this marble it's like um brown and it's almost like a muted purple marble cotton sateen sheet again this was half price this is my absolute these prints are my absolute favorite i like things that are organic um and natural looking so any pebbles or marble or anything like that is just i absolutely love this i'm thinking a shirt dress for the summer would be really nice but um, as I say, I'm not rushing into it. I'm just going to enjoy having the fabric in my stash for a little bit longer um, and then get something made up in that. The other thing that I have to go with this, if we're going again, matchy matchy, will it work? Won't it work? I have these, this Ponty in my stash, which I'm thinking I might make into some leggings. I hope you can see the colour in that, but this goes really nicely with that. And I was thinking that I could possibly make some linear leggings, which I've made before. They're from Pattern Scissors Cloth. I did a pattern test for them. So I might make some of 
some of those in this. Again, to go for the whole leggings and loose shirt look and do a shirt with this, or maybe just keep it simple and do um, a full length shirt in it. I don't know, shirt dress. I don't know, that's, um, that's just another plan. So really this week, it's more talking about ideas and thoughts I have than actually um, showing you makes, because as I say, I haven't had much, much time to make anything, but always thinking about sewing in my head. Um, that's it for this week. I hope you've enjoyed a little bit about what I've seen. Please feel free to give me any ideas on making anything um, from this fabric that I've um, that I've been showing you. More than happy to uh, to take on ideas and thoughts because, as I say, I don't know for sure whether what I've talked about I'm going to definitely make. But I do love all those patterns that I've um, that I've mentioned, and I think they might work. But as I say, I've got nothing to lose by having a go because they're toiles. They could be um, end up being nightwear, but nothing's wasted. That's the whole idea. I don't want to be wasting fabric, um, but I want eventually to come out with something that I like. But I'm happy, more than happy to experiment with with different styles and different ideas just to have something um, unique for me. Because that to me, again, that's why I sew is to have something that's um, that you can't necessarily buy in the shops or <laughs> perhaps nobody would want to buy in the shops. I don't know. Um, but uh, eventually I usually come out with something that, that I enjoy wearing. So, uh, and as I say, worst case scenario, I just wear it in bed. So uh, nothing's wasted. Anyway, um, take care and I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks. Bye.